Let's use MRAM to approximate the integral from 0 to 2 of x cubed dx. And we're going to use four partitions once again. Now, we're going from 0 to 2. And we have to use four equal partitions. And what that means is, well, we have a distance of 2 broken up into four equal parts. Each of those different parts will have a distance of 0.5, or 1 half. And so, first things first, let's create our x values. So we start off at x equals 0. And then we go 1 half to the right of x equals 0, and then 1 half to the right of that, and then 1 half to the right of that, and 1 half to the right of that. Now, we are using a mid Riemann approximation. So what that means is that the height of our rectangles is going to come from the midpoint between our two x values. So our first midpoint is between 0 and 0.5. If you ever have trouble figuring out the midpoint between two numbers, just take the average, add them together, and divide by 2. So the midpoint between 0 and 0.5 is 0.25. The midpoint between 0.5 and 1 is 0.75. The midpoint between 1 and 1.5 is 1.25. And the midpoint between 1.5 and 2 is 1.75. Now it's these x values that are determining the height of our rectangle. So the height of the first rectangle is determined by f of 0.25. The height of the second rectangle is determined by f of 0.75. The third rectangle, f of 1.25. And our fourth rectangle, f of 1.75. Now it is true that MRAM is the hardest of the three different types of Riemann sums that we're using in this section. And the reason is because you have to create your own x value that is the midpoint between x1 and x2 and x2 and x3. So this really is the hardest part of MRAM. And now, everything else is exactly, is, is exactly the same. The height, or the width between these two rectangles, our h, is still going to be 0.5. Because we're going from 0.25 to 0.75. It's still 0.5. And it will always be the same as that initial width that you calculated in the very beginning times f of 0.25, that's 0.25 cubed, plus f of 0.75, that's 0.75 cubed, plus f of 1.25, that's 1.25 cubed, plus f of 1.75, and that's 1.75 cubed. And finally, once you do all of this out, your total area is 2.625. That is the approximation of the area under the curve of x cubed from 0 to 2 using a mid Riemann approximation. And just for clarity, here's what the graph looks like. We go from 0.25 up and over. We go from 0.75 on over. 1.25. So again, we're looking in between the midpoint between these x values that we've been working with before. And finally, 1.75 and on over.